What is SEO and why do you need it for writing good headlines? In this chapter, I try to show you the basics of SEO. First, why do you need SEO? Well, because you want to be found in the internet. And writing SEO optimized headlines can help you achieving that. You don't need SEO for everything. For example, it's rather unimportant on most social media platforms. But it becomes pretty important when you start to write headlines for websites or for YouTube videos. That is because on most social media platforms, the people are not searching for content. The content is offered to them in their feed. But on YouTube or on Google, the people are actually searching for content. Market leader among search engines is Google. I guess you know that fact. And Google has a market share of more than 60% in the US. In countries like Germany, they are even dominating more. Here they have a market share of 90%. So they are really a monopolist. When you are doing search engine optimization, therefore you are first and foremost optimizing for Google. Search engines use computer programs that are called crawlers to search the web. And the crawler is indexing the sites it is finding and it is ranking the sites according to relevance for keywords and for popularity. Unofficially, Google is using more than 200 ranking factors for ranking the sites. Which factors really play a role is a secret that is well kept by Google. What we know is that the ranking factors can change. Updates are actually pretty common and it is normal that they cause a lot of trouble in the search results. Google wants to put the most relevant results on top of the organic search results. When you are searching for, for example, dog food for terrier dogs, you want to see websites that are providing you with just the right information. So Google is always trying to improve its algorithm. Moreover, if Google is noticing that more and more webmasters are capitalizing on weaknesses of the Google algorithm, they of course try to close these loopholes. That is also the reason why the exact algorithm is kept a secret. If webmasters would know it, they would just try to optimize for the ranking criteria and not try to provide good content. So in summary, what is search engine optimization? What is SEO? It is the attempt to improve the visibility of a website in the search results by implementing certain measures to improve the relevance and popularity of a website for certain keywords. And optimizing headlines is actually a big part of that. So why are good rankings important? Well, how often do you look at the second page of Google? Probably not very often. If you rank for content on page 2 of Google, you are actually not existing for more than 99% of the market. There is a study that confirmed that less than 1% of all users are actually clicking on page 2. So for being visible and getting clicks, you really need to rank on the first page. However, being on the first page is not enough. 60% of all users are clicking on the first website in the search results. About 16% are clicking on number 2 in the results and less than 1% is actually clicking on number 10, so the last website in the search results on page 1. You see, just a slight improvement of your website could actually have a big effect on the traffic you are getting from search engines. Therefore, it is crucial to optimize your website and your content and your headlines. Headlines are actually a pretty important ranking factor. A keyword in the headline is actually showing Google that the content is important for the mentioned keyword. Moreover, a good headline will improve your click-through rate and a page that gets clicked a lot in the search results will improve its ranking as well. One important note, SEO is not the manipulation of a search engine. A search engine tries to show its users the most relevant results. The best way to rank is actually to create the most relevant results for the users. We don't just want to pretend that we offer the best results. It's a much better long term strategy to improve the quality of your content. In the long term, you will always rank well with good content. Of course, you can beat Google from time to time with so called black hat SEO measures and succeed by ranking with weak content. However, this is not a long term strategy. Sooner or later, you will lose your rankings again. You want to rank well in the search results and get more traffic from Google and other search engines. 
To succeed with that, find relevant keywords with a high search volume for your content and ask yourself what is your target audience searching for? What answers do they need? Can you provide the right answers? In which form is your target audience consuming the content? Are they reading blog posts or are they watching videos? What do they prefer? Know your audience and you will know how you can rank on Google.